What is up everybody, it's Scott Orson. Today I have a cool little review of the Hound Transformers Age of Extinction Hound. He's freaking awesome. Um, I liked it and to be honest it was the last one in the store and I had to get him because he looks freaking amazing. I just had to get this guy, yay, 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 yay. Alright guys, so here is the box set, or the box, um, really, really nice, here he is, looking amazing, um, in his little packaging, the nice little green and whatnot, and then there's a little picture of the hound from the movie, Autobots Hound, Transformers, and then a little Age of Extinction box, and yeah, so here's the back. So there is Hound in car mode, he is in robot mode looking freaking awesome. Here is a little description that I'm not going to read, but you guys can pause it if you want to. We have this cool other um, Galvatron figure that I cannot seem to find. I hope they come out with a leader class because I don't want to get the Voyager class or whatever class that is. I'd rather just get the leader class one if they come out with one. So let's get this thing out of box! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here is Autobots Hound and he is in his car mode and he looks freaking awesome. Um... I honestly have to say, I see a little bit of Sentinel Prime in this guy. I don't know why. I guess it's the front to me. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so here he is. He looks freaking amazing. His vehicle mode is awesome, by the way. Um, I'm really liking this green and how he just stores the guns all over and there aren't any really loose guns. But one thing I have to say is I don't really know where his knife go. Um, it did peg in on the side. I'm not sure if that's where it goes in storage or where but that's where i put it so anyways um as you guys can see he is some type of i would say garbage truck or something like that and you know just really really nice i'm really liking it, it has a nice little autobot symbol on the side and then um they made this thing look really really car like um they even gave it a little spare tire back there which is pretty cool and then gave him his nice assortment of guns on uh, both sides and the paint detail that they put in this dude is awesome i like that gray and you guys can see a little car symbol down there that's pretty cool and just really nice Ah, oh, just awesome and in the wheels black all black wheels and yeah it's really nicely disguised as um a, a garbage truck i guess is what it's supposed to be and that's pretty cool and i'm really liking that and here's the guns again like i said it's just really amazing they even gave him some piping right there so that's pretty cool and that's barely much about it the bottom you guys can barely tell that he's a robot too so that's pretty cool so let's get this guy into robot mode so basically what you want to do first is what i like to do is i'll take off the guns and that's what I, that's something I really would do first. So I'll just take off some of the guns, uh, like so. And yeah, so basically what you want to do is, what I like to do is, I don't know why, but with me, I start with the legs first. I'm guessing that's how everybody does it. Um, one of his guns kind of slipped out, but I'll just move that to the side. So you pull this out, and then you guys can pull that all out. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to get the this piece in the middle and kind of slide it up just to pop out. I like to do my, I'm a messy uh, transformer. I don't do it by the book. I just messitize it and uh, transform. So basically what you want to do is you want to get these pieces right here, unhinge them from, the, from his feet. And then you guys want to bring them up just like so. Bring them up on both sides and you guys can uh i guess um you guys can just not really leave it like that but um that's what you want to do and uh dang you bring this down right here like so and then you just tab that in and there um goes his little uh feet down there almost done and if you guys want just to finish off his feet you guys can actually turn these things down which make up his toes so that's pretty cool and then uh what you want to do with his head is you just drop that forward if you guys see you just drop his head forward it was right here so you just drop that forward then you with his arms uh my bad guys with his arms you guys just want to get his arms and then uh try and pull them out they're kind of hinged in. I forgot. I got, You got to kind of unhinge it. It's kind of hard, but hey, it is what it is. But um, you guys want to unhinge that and then pop that out and then drop his arms down and bring them forward like so and rotate them. And there you got one of his arms. And then again with the other side, try and unhinge that, drop down this arm and then rotate it forward. And there you got his arms. And there you have him transformed. Uh, let me adjust the camera for you guys real quick. So there you have them transformed. And then um, what you want to do first for the weapons are, when you have them completely transformed, is you get his guns. And for one of the guns, they're like pistols. You actually just tab them in down here. Yeah, I'm trying to get that for you. Just, uh, oh my gosh. You just tab that one in right there. So that's pretty cool. Then you guys can get his little pistol pieces right here. And these are the ones that tab in onto his side so you guys can tab those in. And they're actually um, identified so this one only can go on this side but it could go on the other side so you can have them backwards like that if you wanted to. But I don't know anyone who's really going to do that. And then you guys can um, take that and 
plug this one into the side so there go his two pistols and then with his knife I'll just get the knife out part and you guys can just plug that in right there and then he has these two other guns that are actually have some articulation in it to where they can fold out and in um, I'll get into that later and you guys can take the guns either side either or and uh, actually plug them in like this so that's pretty cool or you guys can plug it in top wise I'll try and do top wise but um yeah, I'm just gonna go with top the top way so you guys can plug it in like that upwards but then again you guys can uh, plug it in downwards if you wanted to but um I like the downwards position but right now I'm doing upwards so you guys can plug that in like this and then you guys can get this big gun and first off when it's in uh, the car mode what you want to do is for the robot gun what you want to do is you want to untab the uh, dang it I can't see the piece I'm dying here. All right, here. So you want to untap this little thing, I'm trying to get that out, or just leave it right here, and then actually like flip this down. You want to flip it out, and then push it down, and there you have his gun. And you guys can drop that forward or leave it like that. And then, oh crap, his other gun fell off. Let me just put that back in there for you guys. Put that in there, and then um, on the back somewhere, I forgot, but I cannot find the pegel um his gun stores i don't remember how to do it though uh i believe it's like you peg it in like this maybe like that you guys can peg it in like that and you store his gun back there so that's pretty cool and the side guns they do seem to fall off but and it's not a big deal so yeah so basically you guys can just peg in the other gun i keep slipping out of my hand so just peg this in and boom you guys have him in his robot mode ah and that gun just keeps falling out. I'm getting kind of mad. But um, yeah, here he is in his robot mode. So yeah, let's get into some, some detail. Okay, guys, so here is Hound again. So let's get into some detail. This guy is freaking done amazingly. Um, I, I'm i just going to put it right out there. He's actually an awesome Age of Extinction figure. Um, just compared to the other two that I have, Drift and Bumblebee, and I also have Optimus Prime, by the way, this guy just amazingly detailed. Um, first off, let's get into his face real quick. So basically, uh, if I can get this there, I don't know if you guys, how good you guys can see that. So basically, here's his face, and one thing that I'm really liking about this thing is they made him have a little beard. That's freaking awesome, and his head is, like, really cool. They painted it really nice with his nice blue eyes and that nice little army-looking helmet piece right there. That was cool, and just amazing just awesome so this guy is like a walking armory by the way I just had to say that too like look at all the guns and stuff that he comes with he comes with one two three four five six seven and then I'd say eight if you want to count his knife so that's pretty cool so basically back into the detail they gave him a little beard and that looks pretty cool and then the nice little grays and just indentations on him it looks freaking amazing and then on the side you guys can see these little bullets there that they sculpted in right there and then if you get down to his arm I don't know what his arms are supposed to be they look so cool gear like gear like so that's pretty cool and then on the other side is the same thing so that looks freaking awesome and then if you guys move him to the back um, his gun is stored but you actually um, I realized if you wanted to you guys can actually peg his gun on either or side so it really doesn't matter if you want you could peg it on this side and yeah and I don't I'm not too sure if the gun is supposed to be out like that maybe yeah I, I think it is actually and um yeah so you can actually have it pegged in back there and just as I was saying like the back looks freaking amazing how they it honestly looks robotish like it doesn't just look like they just tried to stuff pieces in so yeah if you guys can see all this detail just really nice as wheels again and just the, tr the, the the robot mode is awesome just really really nice all that little detail into there if you guys can see that okay let's hop into some articulation so basically his head is kind of not on a ball joint so basically it only can kind of go left to right um not too big of a deal but it's i don't really mind like i don't need him to look up it's just not nah. i don't need it but um yeah i'm just gonna take these guns off because they keep falling off anyway i don't know why they do they keep falling off so basically his arms can go in and out and kind of rotate right there so that's pretty cool they can go 360 um but i'm not gonna do it i just don't like doing that stuff to figures i just feel like i'm hurting them <laughs> but um yeah his arms can go 360 then um they bend out the uh elbow and that's pretty cool and the thing that i just love is that this thing is actually soft plastic so that's pretty cool his arm is soft plastic and it's like a double joint right there if you guys can see that so it's one and two so you guys can double bend that and then uh um some little uh i guess um articulation right there so it's kind of weird because his arms can move like they can rotate even though it's bendable plastic and you guys can see in there that um the joint is in there too so that's pretty cool and it just covers it up 
So that's pretty nice. And then, uh, yeah, same for the other side, you know, 360, double bend at the elbow, and then move. And then if you get lower into it, you know, he has these in and out feet that can go back and forth, or crotch area on my back that can go back and forth. And so can the other side and go in and out. And then he also can kind of um, go 360 at the waist too, so that's pretty cool. And then if you get even lower into it, he actually bends at the knee, so that's even awesomer. And uh, awesomer, <laughs> and it bends at the other knee and does have some rotation right there, and so does the other one. And if you even get to the bottom, it's nothing just this little piece I can move and that's just for his transformation as right, so let's get into his weapons so basically I'm gonna just take off all his weapons um, basically he can store his weapons on like you guys seen you guys just take them off um, real quick and untab that and then in the inside he actually has these two little handgun pieces that peg in right there in the middle so that's pretty cool and you guys gonna peg that so we're just gonna put this guy to the side uh, can you stand up without me, you know, without you falling over? So basically, here is his first gun. It's really freaking big, and there's actually a cool little gimmick with these guns. So it's like a machine gun, and it's really nice. The detail on it is really, really awesome, and I'm really liking that. And then um, if you guys go to the next two pairs of guns, here are the two side guns that just seem to fall out. Um, the thing I like about these guns is they actually pop out and become some bazooka looking gun. So that's pretty cool and has some cool detail on there. I'm really liking that. And then if you guys go to the other one, there's another one. Um, same thing. Just got to unpeg it out. I don't know. It just, yeah, there you go. And it just comes out like that and just really nice bazooka looking. And then he has these two little handguns or side pistols. Really, really nice. And then two handguns, which are really, really nice. And then you guys have his uh, knife, so that's pretty cool. And the cool thing about these guns is they can actually go into one big giganto gun, which I will show you right now. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to get these two guns, right? You guys want to plug these two in right here, like so. Then you, once you get that, you guys want to get the knife, and you guys want to plug that into the front, uh, like so. And then once you do that, you guys can leave this actually alone. Is what I'm seeing. Or actually, you don't leave it alone. You actually just get this and you get these. And I'm thinking you just pull this down and you peg that into the middle, I guess. And yeah. So I don't know what happens to the other one, but um, you guys peg that into the middle. Then you guys get this cool little big machine gun piece and you guys somehow peg it in. I forgot how to do this. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hmm? Oh, my bad. I kind of messed up. My bad. You unpeg that. <laughs> you unpeg that, and uh, you plug this down at the bottom. Not like this, but um, you plug these two pieces down at the bottom into the gun, uh, and like that. And then what you want to do is you want to get these two pieces. This is where I messed up at. You get these two pieces. You plug those in, like so. And then you want to get these gunned, and then you want to plug it onto the side. Oh crap. Oh, I'm just having difficulties. Uh, you just get it and you plug them into the side of this cool humongo gun and yeah all right oh crap you guys there you have it um the gun is completed i have to play with it a little because for some reason this side piece on the side doesn't stick out as much to hold the gun in so basically here is this cool amazing mega machine blasting gun and this thing looks like it should have killed megatron um really really nice really coolly detailed if you guys can see all the detail in there just really great um lots of handle pieces so he can hold it and it actually does fit into his hand if you guys want to see this so basically what you want to do oh my gosh i don't know why it keeps falling out but basically you just tag it in yeah you just tag that in and then put this back onto the side can i get that back over there man can you put that back yeah put that right there Put it right there. Put it right, put, 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 put right there. And um, I don't know why, but um, so on this side, it doesn't really stick out as much to hold his gun. Um, kind of a disappointer. Kind of not that big of a deal, but I would like for him to hold it. Like, can you hold on to your gun? Okay, guys. So I finally got him to hold the gun. Um, yeah, he can hold it with two hands, so it's pretty cool. And it looks freaking awesome. This gun should have killed Megatron, not the other one. Suck. Awesome. Sweet. Yes, this one's better not the other one but yeah really nice really can hold into his hand and just really amazing i'm really just in love with it it's awesome but um 
I don't know what else to say. It looks pretty cool. It has some cool detail on it when it's combined and just, yeah, it can actually gut someone. Okay, so here's some size comparison. As you guys can see, um, Hound is actually a little bit shorter than Optimus Prime, but taller than Bumblebee and Drift, but they are still cool figures. Um, Really, really nice. The top, the size, it actually, I feel like it lines up quick because he is a summer truck. He is a garbage truck. Then these two are just two little cars, which should be the size. So the size is actually pretty right on that I feel. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to It Scott Oris for more reviews and fun. A really awesome hound, and I'm so proud to see you as an Autobot. I'm so happy for you, but you will never be like me. I am way better than you and awesomer than you. Dude, chill out. And didn't you die in the other movie? Subscribe. Subscribe.